In this video, I will explain some basic terminology most commonly used in video editing, animation and motion graphics overall. I will briefly talk about what is a footage, color channels, what is a keyframe, what is interpolation, what is rendering, masks, mats and finalizing it with compositing and compositions. Let us start with footage. In video production and motion graphics, footage is unedited raw material which we use in post-production. Footage is mostly related to video, but no matter if you use a Photoshop file, an image or video, you can tell that all of this can be your footage which you will work with. Maybe you came across a term like stock footage or video footage. These are websites which offer footage files for sale which you can use in your graphic projects. Next on our plate are the color channels. CMYK and RGB are color models. So in RGB we have three channels, red, green and blue, and those three channels by combining the lights of each other are creating a various palette of colors. In video of course we use RGB and if you would like to edit only one of the channels or preview one of the channels, I can click here on red, then I can click on green and on blue and those three images together create the RGB color palette and create this nice red image. An additional channel which is added in graphic design is the alpha channel. The alpha channel is the transparency. Now it's not visible because the entire screen is filled up, but if I would delete this image, I would have the alpha channel visible because there is nothing visible in the background. You can also toggle the alpha channel in After Effects by clicking this button. This is just for convenience. Some people prefer to work in a black background. Some people prefer to see the transparency grid. Now we are getting to the real juicy stuff, keyframes. Keyframes are those little guys here which help us to animate anything in After Effects. As you can see, I have set a keyframe on the position and as I drag my timer, this layer is moving. So to explain what is a keyframe, apart for being this little guy, because this is only a graphical interpretation, keyframes indicate change in a value of a property in a layer. I know this sounds a bit complicated, but you only have to know that keyframes are used to prepare animations and change values over time. And now this is why we are heading over to interpolation which is one of the most important word and terms used in videography overall because interpolation automates our animation process. Where did interpolation came from? Of course, from mathematics, but it is so impressive in After Effects. Let's say I create a rounded shape. I open up the shape, I open up the fill, and I set the keyframe at the beginning to make it red. I go a few frames further and I make it blue, for example. Now, I don't have to go frame by frame and change the color slowly to blue. It is interpolating automatically from red to blue. And this is what is allowing us to create amazing animation in After Effects. Because we use mathematics, or After Effects is using rather for us, to automatically interpolate between two values. How cool is that? Okay, before I get too excited, let me get back to the boring stuff. I'll delete the circle rendering. In video, especially in After Effects, rendering is the process of creating our final video output format. For example, this is my main comp animation. I could add it to the render queue, render it out, and I would have a ready video. This is what is called rendering in video editing. Now let me touch on the two next things together because they are very similar masking and matting. Masking is a tool which allows us to protect or reveal a specific portion of an image. By default, masks can be created in After Effects with the rectangle tool. If you don't have anything selected and I select the circle, it will just create a shape layer. But if I would have this layer selected, the red wall, which is my image here in the background, and I would click on the rectangle tool, or use the circle, it doesn't matter, it would create a mask. The longer I drag the mask, the more of the image is revealed. 
I have mask one here, it has appeared because I have created it, and it is now set with the blending mode to add. I could of course also subtract it to get the opposite of it. If I choose add, I can then work further with the mask, for example, feather it out, and with a few mouse clicks, I can get this nice blending effect here. Okay, let me delete the mask. So this was a mask, but we also have matting. Matting is something more natural and it doesn't have to be influenced by masks like that. I don't have to create masks. Mats are something built in in our image already. I have this little toggle switches button here on the bottom and it reveals our modes and track mats. As you see, I've used a track mat to reveal this red text. This red text is invisible, but underneath there is a shape. Let me reveal it, no track mat. This is the shape. It is just a simple white rectangle, but if I set the track mat to alpha mat red, this red text will be only visible when it will appear over this shape layer. So when it's on the left, it's invisible, but when it's here, the track matting allows us to reveal it with a shape. So as you see, masking and matting are very similar methods, but masks have to be created and mats come more natural and they are already built in in our image. We just have to influence it with different options. Last but definitely not least is compositing. Let me pull out Wikipedia to help. Wikipedia is of course not always a perfect source, but the explanation here of compositing is really very good. Compositing is the combining of visual elements from separate sources into single images. After Effects is a compositing power machine. It allows us to combine several items and elements in one place to create a visual story or effect. This is all I wanted to give you in the basic terminology of video editing. It might be a bit difficult, you've learned something like keyframes, interpolation, rendering, all at once, but trust me, this will be a basis for you. And next time if you hear those words, you will already have some basic understanding of what they refer to. You already know more about motion graphics. Thank you very much for listening to this hard, but I believe interesting lesson. See you in the next one.